Hi, my name is Libby Basto, and today I'll be talking about the global digital police. No, sorry. I'll be talking about Elf on the Shelf. With the holidays approaching, the beloved children's toy known as Elf on the Shelf has already begun to appear in many homes around the world. However, further inspection reveals the sinister undertones of this tradition. Although many games have rules, Elf on the Shelf is unique in that the game is never ending and that the children who participate must be on their best behavior at all times. This is like a panopticon, which is a circular prison with all the cells visible from a guard tower in the center. It operates under the idea that the prisoners will not know if they are being watched, only that they could be at all times, and therefore behave as if they are under constant surveillance. The elf serves this purpose for children, who feel eyes on them constantly, forcing them to stay on their best behavior. This conditioning affects their delicate mental state, effectively creating a society of adults that accept the government encroaching on their private lives. Although Elf on the Shelf may seem like a harmless game, its consequences are fast approaching as technology continues to become prevalent in society. Internet users are often not aware of the surveillance their smart devices use, a fact that can easily be taken advantage of. Modern citizens need to be more aware of ongoing online surveillance, both by the government and private industry, to present passivity to abuses of hierarchical power. According to Pew Research Center, 74% of Americans say we shouldn't sacrifice civil liberties for security. Unfortunately, without regulation, that's exactly what's happening. In the U.S., companies do not have to share how they monitor their employees with the government or their workers. In an eerie parallel of the Panopticon, employees generally know their bosses could be monitoring them but are not sure when. New regulations on workplace surveillance and employee consent could change this current state of the industry, but unless a new awareness of the extent of the issue spreads, it is unlikely to change. This slow indoctrinization of citizens to a state where their government is constantly watching them works similarly to Elf on the Shelf, by desensitizing citizens to trespasses into their privacy until it becomes the norm. In 2013, a private contractor leaked classified presentation slides that detailed the existence and operation of PRISM, a mechanism that allows the government to collect user data from companies like Microsoft, Google, Apple, and more. PRISM is used by the National Security Administration to collect private information from U.S. citizens without a search warrant. Although 54% of Americans disapprove of NSA surveillance, PRISM continues to operate under little scrutiny or legal restraint. If the majority of Americans are against government surveillance, then why does it continue with so little regulation? The answer can be found with Elf on the Shelf. Citizens have grown so used to being watched that the line for what is okay has blurred. Internet users exist in a state of knowledge towards the surveillance of their smart devices. If this is allowed to continue, free states will become a thing of the past. I urge you today, research privacy software and legislation, read into prison and their lack of regulation, and most of all, don't take your eyes off the elf on the shelf.